everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. I'm headed down. I am meeting Mitt this morning. He's coming hunting with us. He says I'm on the gun, he's on the camera. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Mitt. He don't know it yet. He probably gonna leave his gun in the truck. If he does, I'm gonna give him mine. I'm running the camera. And I'm planning on me being on the gun because I don't need to be toting all that. That's too much for me to tote by myself. So I'm going to do my best to get fit on the gun and see if we can stomp one this morning. It's a little warmer than it's been being, so, uh, and it's supposed to rain, a little windy, but I think we're going to be all right. We're going to have a good time anyway. chance we'd have is just walking through this tall sage to get up there. Alright, we got two on the ground. And we're trying to decide what we're going to do. We ain't called to them yet. We finna check their temperature though, but we think they might be drifting this way. I ain't gonna call if we ain't got to. this morning they just ain't really excited.
Didn't I done had a hockey time? Let me tell you what, that's four or five hundred yards up there where they was roosted. Come on, boy. That was perfect. What happened to this other one? Did he gobble? Golly. I think that might be the first turkey me and me ever killed together, ain't it? I told him. I hid my shotguns. I said, I ain't got no gun, you gotta bring yours. And the doctor won't let me shoot a 12 gauge, so he had to shoot. <laughs> that was fun. It don't get no better. We're gonna sit here. I can see Mitt right now sucking it in. This is what it's all about. It's, it don't get no better than that. I don't care where you're at in the world, does it, Mitt? All right, Mitt was right there. That's where we sat, where's my finger? Mitt was right there. We sat there, we was here. 45 minutes before daylight, we both sitting there. Turkeys gobbled there and there. And then I, they, there's a field up there they flew down in. So uh, I backed off, I wanted to get a better angle. And we were standing, we come out here after they first gobbled and we knew they was on the edge way up there. I've ranged that before, Mitt. It's from that stand, it's probably 500 yards, Mitt finna range it. How far is it to that shooting house? 451. All right, 450. They 100 past that. So we called them 550. They flew down. We was going to try to walk up that road right there. But they was roosted right on the edge right there. Flew down in the field. I said, we got to call them. We called. They was on that point right there as a road. And when they started coming, they come all the way down the little road. Doop, doop, doop. And they spun and strutted down there. I wasn't gonna move the camera because I didn't want to mess it up. And then they was right, man, they was right there, about 20. Spinning, spinning, strutting, strutting. And then we had one coming from, he was standing right there. We couldn't see him. Now the other turkeys is gobbling, my goodness. But anyway, I told me it when I kiki, since I sat behind him, to shoot. And I didn't think he was gonna shoot. Mitt wanting to see the show. I said, Dad gum the show, let's shoot. And we got him. That's good stuff. We got another in goblin too. Boy, if we disc it'd show enough be muddy. Let's see what we got. Big old jug here. Oh yeah, what I like, two-year-olds, I love it. They got a rope. Got them two-year-olds. Love it. Huge, yeah. Man, that's a pretty bird. That's good stuff, man. Golly, that's the first dry bird all year. All oh, the other ones been so wet, it don't even make a good picture. God, that's pretty right. Have you ever been taking a picture and I could zoom in and get a long beard in the view? Not, not all. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse. We are still on the word good. I'm just poking down the highway running about 40. Oh, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 18. Don't take me just a second. I'm not going to fool with this while I'm passing cars. And uh, this is a pretty long one. What did I say? Yeah. Chapter 18 in Ezekiel, chapter 34. Is it too slight a thing for you that you should feed in the good pasture 
that you must tread down with your feet the rest of your pastures, or that you should drink of the clear waters that you must foul the rest with your feet. All right, y'all, so me and Mitt has just been piddling around on the ranger. He helped me do a few things that I can't do yet on the ranger. He didn't have, uh, have we just been kind of piddling around on the ranger. But anyway, uh, we have about made it a day down there after this morning. Talk, text, send pictures, something, just about seven days a week. And I think we have deer hunted together two or three times, turkey hunted together, shoot, two or three that times. That is the first turkey we'd ever killed together, and the few deer I got with him this year when we was working on those, that's the first time we'd ever done that. But let me tell you, no one of us will ever forget that hunt this morning. I had, uh, let me see, I called him the other day, and uh, we've been having pretty good luck on the turkeys, and I said, I got two that's kind of right here in the middle, ain't nobody bothering. I'm leaving them alone till I pick today. I said, me and you got a meeting with this oh. turkey. I think I saw these turkeys when me and Sissy went yesterday or day before when that old turkey got out there in the middle and cut over. It got me to second get, you give a turkey two or three days sometime and he'll, he'll change some stuff on you. And uh, I said, well, I said, two choices. We got down there an hour or so before daylight, and we was sitting by a tree 45 minutes before daylight. And I said, we got two choices. And I said, I said I'm going to go to this first one. We'll be in the game regardless, I think. And they gobbled way further than I thought I wanted to, I wanted to be. And we just kind of couldn't move right then. I said, let's just sit here. But anyway, called the turkeys when they uh, got on the ground. I'm not sure what all I got on film. You know, I ain't looked at it yet. I'm, I'm hoping the footage was good. But anyway, called to the turkeys when they got on the ground and they answered and I kind of got a little aggressive and they had moved when they gobbled. I said, we got them now. And I called just a little bit more and I knew right then they was coming. It was a couple of them, and we had one kind of behind us that had gobbled, and then uh, they was coming. They was coming. I thought they had drifted out on the in the woods, but they had kind of come down in a in a bottom like deal. That's why they sounded like they was a little further. This is what's so good about turkey hunting? Just about the time you think they coming right here, I had seen them out the corner of my eye, and I told me I said, "Get ready." and uh, whispered to him, and then one directly to my right just hammered down. <sighs> Close to. And I said, oh boy, new player in the ball game now. And he was so close right then, I thought that was the one we was fixing to be needing to fool with, and Mitt would have had to swing some. I was sitting in pretty good position. I film, and I was afraid he was fixing to be at five or six steps. And also, I thought these we was fooling with was gonna be at five or six steps. I thought it was fixing to be tight. And then I told Mitt, I said, when I kiki, you shoot. He said, all right, all right. Well, that one drifted away. They'd been right there and there wasn't no way for me to move the camera, but the Mitt's left about 20 yards through a cedar bush. They was just spinning and strutting. There was two or three hens with a spinning strut and gobbling carrying on. Golly, I was a nervous wreck back there. And that one broke loose. I think he was could see this other turkey up to our right. He was within range, but we couldn't see him. And uh, when that one broke loose and got in front of us, I hope the camera was right. I'll know here in a little while. Oh, uh, I kiki, Mitt didn't shoot. I said, you sorry, Joker. And I kikied again, and finally got him. He said, man, I was wanting to watch the show. Because them others was coming and one that way. I said, heck with the show, I was wanting to get him. I have just felt like for some reason I was sitting in the wide open with that camera. But he looked back, he said, man, you hit good. I said, man, get one in there like that. We just got to, I needed some relief. I needed you to get it done, but 
I didn't get a lot of the, sh no, I don't guess I got any of the show on camera, but it was good and it was probably fixing to get super good. I just couldn't stand it no more. We had to, had to get him, but it was an awesome hunt. We'll never forget it. We've had probably part of the best time was at the end when we've been riding around doing some stuff just kind of fiddling around talking uh i told him i said man we need to be doing this when we're 70 years old and i think we will be we just had a lot of fun but boy they it was a real low pressure day and wind was kind of blowing you wouldn't expect them to gobble like that but man they was hammering and moving the the good part about that we've had it happen several times this year we basically called them away from the hens they was in front when they come out there and that's when you got them going i have uh, hens as y'all know i've always been a raspy hen all my life and i've swapped i've gone back to a summer it's two thin reeds and she's real high pitched and i I've been carrying, y'all notice maybe my videos, I got two mouth calls in there. Uh, I've been using my high pitch one mostly and then kind of bring out that raspy and almost been playing a lot. Been doing this for a long time. I just hadn't talked about it, I don't think. Jake yelping behind that high pitched hen. And I usually do it with the same mouth call and I said, I'm thinking to do this. And I, I, uh, I uh, yelped with that high pitched one and then halfway Jake yelped with that raspy one and I think it's driving them crazy. But that's what I'm playing with right now and that's what seems to be working. And I ain't a world champion caller by no means and never will be, but by golly it worked. Uh, just a super time with me at this morning. Won't we'll never forget that. Just a, just a nice, nice day. But anyway, I'm easing on to the house and it's getting pretty late. I gotta get, I'm rushing really. I gotta get Cody from school about late. But anyway, I'm about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. One more thing I forgot to show y'all. That old turkey had the red stuff all over me. Me got it all in my seat. Me about felt bad about it. He's, and I asked him, I said, well, I told him don't worry about it right first off. I'll take a wipe and wipe it up. Maybe one day it'll wear off. I told him, I said, reckon how many people this morning got turkey blood in the front seat of a Lexus? That's pretty cool there. That might be a first ever.